Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. Today we will learn how to make this cool memory wire earrings. Um, I know it's really funky and I really like the way it turned out to be. I made two designs which I'm I'm really liking it. I mean, it's a very simple uh, earring, but at the same time, there's a lot of lot of different things that you can do with this just not this pattern this is just one pattern but you can do quite a lot so first of all i was playing with this bargain bead box subscription uh, beads and i wanted to come up with a earring so this is what i came up with i know it's sorts of like it's just I was playing with it and I really like the way it turned out to be this earring also I'll tell you guys how to make this once I do this basic pattern um, it's all the same but I will do a separate video with bargain beatbox subscription items because I know a lot of you guys might have only that as a stash builder so I would like to show you guys that in a separate video in this video i will show you guys how to make these two earrings it's so pretty pretty very simple uh, not a complicated process as to say uh, so let's do this one first and then come back to this one i guess this one is also very pretty and you can hang chain and beads in the there's a lot of variety that you can do instead of this ring that i have here attached to a jump ring you can make a dangle like this however you prefer it's totally up to you okay for this you need memory wire i have here this memory wire it's 1.775 inch 0.7 millimeter thickness it's a 10 ounce it's from fire mountain and gems um and it's a silver one this was actually a mistake i didn't really understand the size of it and i ordered i i was expecting a big memory wire for bracelet by the way and then I got this, but it's okay. I thought I will use it for hoop earrings, which I do use. And I have quite a lot. So I thought how I can figure out something. So I cut this um, semi, it's like three fourths of the circle, which was perfect for these earrings. So I keep one as a sample because I don't want to lose the, um, lose the size, which is perfect for me. But I'll measure for you guys. So here, the distance is exactly one, one, one inch and point one more, one point one inch. Okay, mm, I'm going to just keep it here. Memory wire, you should always use memory wire shears or memory wire cutters. Do not use your regular wire cutters. You will actually. Um, spoil them completely so here we go i just keep it like this aligned and then i just cut it like this so this is how i cut it first time you can just eyeball it and cut it or just measure one inch and cut it that should be good okay we'll cut two lengths because i'm going to show you guys how to make those two earrings so i'm just again putting it right next to it and I'm running my fingers through because I don't want any difference in the two wires. There we go. Use my memory wire cutters. And okay. there we go. And then I know most mostly so many people were asking about this memory wire cutters. Where did I buy? And uh, this is actually 15 like at least 13 years old and i don't know where i bought this from but it was uh, a very very long time so but i really like this for memory wire uh, but i really wanted to buy the new one too and see what uh why people wanted to know about this because obviously they must be having some issues with it I guess so that's that and always store the memory wire in a zip lock like air airtight probably otherwise it will tarnish the bright colored ones obviously and uh, so now I have here some um, 
pearl beads these are 6 mm or 4 mm pearls something like that okay so I have a little bit of those I, these are I think acrylic beads it's not even heavy so the earrings is pretty lightweight which I really like about it we need ear wire so we have a ear wire right here and for this I made the ear wire I'll tell you guys why I did that so I have only silver memory wire the bright ones but if you have gold you can use it but I have mixed match the metals here and here also I used antique gold bar here so we are going to make this and we need this bar you can use any connectors you have as long as it's long enough this one I would say is one inch long I would say yes exactly one inch long or else you can make your own connector you can uh, cut a piece like one and a half inch piece and then make a small loop at the end and then add some seed beads and then make a loop at the end and then add it here that will also work since I have this bar I'm using that then we need some jump rings to connect this these to this okay and let me see if I have one more jump ring I feel that this jump ring the color is very dull so I'll use this okay we need one jump ring for that okay and we will start using our pliers the pliers that I want to use of course I use the memory wire cutters then the round nose pliers and uh, chain nose or needle nose pliers if you want to so here we go to open and close jump ring we need one uh, bent nose pliers and a needle nose or tweezer nose pliers so I'm going to make a loop I'm going to make a loop inside normally we would make a loop outside to form a hoop earring or anything like that but in this case I want the loop to be inside this one is a little bit of a tough one I just take my time just roll the, see how I, I started forming that right so then I just take my pliers and slowly roll that and once you have the loop you're good to go you can take your bent nose pliers and then kind of you know close that loop completely there we go so now I start adding my beads you can use any beads you want as long as it fits through the memory wire you can use those beads so the first bead I put in here is a metallic um, metallic bead as you can see this is a little bit of a shiny metallic bead it's like a hematite color so that's the one that I used the first bead doesn't it doesn't matter you can add any pattern you want I just added one bead at the end because I'm no, I wasn't pretty sure how many beads will fit in this wire uh, so I need the middle to be exactly proper with my ear wire so forth and so on and I remember that one two three four six seven eight nine so ten beads along with this metal bead so four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I would add actually, I opened my ear wire, I close it nicely. and add the ear wire also in the middle so there we go okay you can also add it later but I added it right now 
So again, one, two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So eight, then finally the metal beads. So after this, I have to make a loop. Again, see, I have about a centimeter of the wire left. And I'm going to make a loop. Take my round nose pliers. So I'll start about, say, in the middle. Even though I don't want that big a hole loop, I start. Because it's a little bit of, I have more, much more control and grip on the thing. Because I don't want to break my um, pearl bead. But I still want to make the loop nicely. There we go. I made that loop right here. And we are done with the top part. Then comes the fun part. So for this dangle, I used two head pins. You need those two head pins. Let me just grab my... I forgot to mention about those. I am running out of head pins as I am mentioning in every single video, I think. Maybe I put it somewhere here. These head pins are very long. So here we go, I have got my two head pins, straighten that a little bit. Okay, now what you do is take the metallic bead and then our, so these are the flower beads um, I'm using. These ones I got it as a box. It has different. It had different colors. I used up completely one of the colors, and these are the other colors I have left over with. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. Maybe it's BB Craft, but I'm not so sure. Uh, or maybe it's N Beads. I have no idea. But um, I can search it up for you guys if you want to. So here we go. I take my um, tweezer nose pliers, okay, let me just move this, maybe it's too much distraction for you guys, right, take this, okay, so see how I leave a little bit of a distance and then I bend the wire to 90 degrees and then take my wire cutters, okay, and I just eyeball it, it's after my finger ends, that's how I calculated but it's about say one centimeter or so and then take my round nose pliers and make a loop the round nose pliers this round nose pliers I use it for a sturdy operation or so um, uh, it's not an operation per se for sturdy stuff that I want to make especially with the memory wire I was struggling to do the loop so that kind of a thing i use that one but regularly i use this round nose pliers which is very very handy for me i love this pliers for some reason it's very comfortable and once you work with something which you feel very comfortable you don't want to actually change right i hope you guys can all relate to that so there we go after i put that bead right here I can also use this bend nose pliers to just bend it at 90 degrees and then snip off the excess wire 
and take this and immediately discard um, otherwise and take your honors pliers and make that loop so we have our two dangles ready said and done all you need to do is I would like to use my tweezer nose pliers for this it's a very handy tool it's from Bubbers no it's not from Bubbers from Zuron sorry um, open it up uh, you twist up up and or down or front or back don't pull it apart and then add it to this loop right here okay and then do the same for the other dangle open it up and close that loop so now see you can actually finish it up at this point of time that's done said and done okay I also want to add a one more dangle right here I feel that that is much more prettier right what do you guys think so I grab some more head pins and then straighten that out a bit okay and I don't want much more distraction so I will just maybe I need the this one right here this yeah that looks about say right and I just take it I'm not adding any bead on the top here it's up to you you can add a bead you can add a big dangle if you want to it's totally up to you I always say this um, because I want you guys to have the full freedom of uh, making stuff on your own so here I'm attaching it to the loop of our ear wire and not to the uh, to that loop you can actually add it here as well but I want to try and add it to my ear wire loop if it becomes it is difficult so I just give up that idea because I don't know why it's difficult Let me just try. Want it to be free. Yeah, there we go. I did it. And then close that loop. And check out this. I want this to move freely. Yeah. That looks about, say, right. So I like that if you want you can add one more bead up there and have the same amount of tangle if you want I think that should be the best idea but that's okay we learn so here we go so in this what we need to do here is attach attach our bar bead right here okay so take a four millimeter or five millimeter jump ring take your bent nose pliers and your tweezer nose pliers or needle nose pliers and then just adjust the jump ring now and then open it up and put it in this loop and then in the bar and then close it that's all you need to do when you close it go back and forth and make sure you clear a small click that's when you know that your jump ring is secured now take the next jump ring first align it and make it straight and then open it up you hold the earring this way okay and you want this dangle down make sure it is down and this one also proper just like so hold it and then insert it now take your 
then close flyers and close that thing there we go did you hear that click that's what we are looking for so that's that so in this I'll show you guys to make a dangle just like this here um, let's see how it looks right I can go ahead and adjust that later I'll take a flower bead put it in put a gray bead on top and then just a tid bit of distance and then bend the wire to 90 degrees snap it off take your run nose pliers and make that loop just like so open that loop up by twisting it upward and let's say I am adding it here in the not in the ear wire but to the memory wire loop okay it's going to both So I have opened the loop more. I just don't need this much. So I just let's see how it looks when I attach it to the I should have added this when I was adding the ear wire. That would have been easier. Now it's a little bit but we can get it done. I think I will add it in the ear wire only because what happens is it's a tight space right there. We don't have much of a gap. That's why I'm not able to put this in. There we go and close that loop. Let's see which one looks good. I think this one looks better than that one. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like with the bead on top or without the bead on top. Okay, so that earring is done now we shall concentrate on this one this one what what did i use for this earring so for that earring i used rather a big jump ring because um, not even just bigger than this this one as you can see it has that depth right here the metallic one is thick and the and the circumference from uh, from the outer layer to the inner circle this part has to be covered by the jump ring without any any difficulties whatsoever right so that's that so i need two of these no three of these because i need one in the center so three of these rings you can use any findings you have as long as it has a loop on top you can use it directly but because i didn't have it so i was using this as a like a charm like a pendant so you can make a dangle like this and use it or if you have a charm or a pendant small pendant you can use all of those items here so we need three jump rings to attach these three rings and then we need i used 10 o seed beads it is from hobby lobby it's the best investment i made bead treasures and then it's a 3.99 a box and it has a lot of beads trust me so that's the one that I used 
Whoopsie daisy. I just want to put that back in its place. There we go. Then I used some peanut beads. I love this color. For some reason it's so pretty. It's Japanese peanuts, peanut beads. These are Czech glass. No, Japanese. So, Ceylon Rose Gold Luster. That's the color. And I love this color. It's extremely pretty. See that uh, peachy pink and gold? I love that color. I used only 10 of these beads here. I didn't use much. But I love this. And also I used this bicone. If you can see. Just two metallic bicones. Gold bicones. And then as you can see I made my own ear wire. There is a reason behind it. Actually. So why I made this is because... I want the loop to be like perpendicular to the ear wire. Normally it will be flat, right? So for example, this, the loop with the question mark is like this, right? But here, if you can see, the loop is perpendicular to the ear wire. I guess you guys can understand that. So I made it with a 20 gauge ear wire because I wanted that to do that. Otherwise, I will have to add two, two jump rings. And this is rather a big jump ring. So I didn't want all of this. Um, so that's the reason I did that. Let's just put these earrings on the side. And let's concentrate on making this. And as I said, I need three jump rings and 10 of these beads. So let's start making it. First of all, how we already started, we have to make a loop. So the loop needs to be inwards. So start the loop by putting it over here and slowly trying to turn inside. And then come back. See, once you form that U shape, then it's easy for you to make a loop. There we go. I made a loop. Now I am ready to add the beads. First of all, I need the bicones. Let me load my bicone in. It's a 4 millimeter bicone in a metallic gold color. Antique gold. And then 5 of this peanut beads. What is so special about this peanut bead is it just nests on top of each other like this. Like this, like this. And like that so everything it nests on top it looks very pretty three four and five there we go and then I used the seed beads these seed beads are not um, branded like Toho or Mayuki check glass nothing like that but um, these ones are just regular Chinese seed beads. So I don't know how many exactly I need. I just filled it up. That's about it. That's all I did. And then once I reach certain distance, I guessed it. Then I added these. It was like a wild guess, guys. Let's do the same again. I'm going to have... I'm going to have fun doing that. Trust me, it was a very, very mm, scary call to make it. Because um, you don't know exactly how much you need for the loop. And you have to take into consideration the peanut beads and the bicones. So that's a wild goose chase, kind of. But now I have the first one right here. Um, so it should be easy. It's my opinion. Let's see. So this is how it will be. Now I will keep this as a sample. And see if I need more beads or not. See that? I will keep it like that. So I need five more beads and I should be good to go. Maybe six. And then 
I try to keep it on top of this. I think that should be good. So now I add my peanut beads. And five. Five peanut beads and one by cone. And I check if I can make a loop, which I can. I think I can make a perfect loop right there so take it and again okay that was hard so take it and try to make that u and then come in with the loop there is one more thing that also you can use it to make a loop which is this right here the bail making pliers or the looping pliers you can use that because it's sturdy. I don't want to break the bicone. So I just want to be careful doing that. Maybe I have a better grip with the round nose pliers. There we go. Now I will take my bent nose pliers and then just crush this loop. To get it completely closed there we go so that's done perfectly so now we need is some jump rings big jump rings so I got this jump rings I don't know where but I got it and this is the one I used I think this is the one I used yeah So this has various sizes from the small to the big. It's very helpful. Now, first things first, take your bent nose pliers. Okay, I really like to use this bent right here to hold my ring firmly in my finger. Take your other pliers, other set of pliers and take it and wiggle it. See? See that it should align properly right there okay so that's what we want now open it up completely and then add this right here and then add it to this you can also add two jump rings in case if you feel that it's not secure you can add it you can add two jump rings which I always do but in this I feel it's fine so that's that make sure these are closed and not open by any chance there we go now take the next one let's do the same open it up wiggle 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 and make sure they are closed completely and there is not any gap okay and now open that up put your thing back and add it to the slope again wiggle 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 you hear the click now that's secure right Let's make that ear wire right here. So I'm using 20 gauge para wire in silver. Because I use the silver ear wire, sorry, silver memory wire, I want, I'm using silver and gold tone, both mixed flush cut the ends. And, um, I would take this one right here let me see if that's the one I used okay and make a loop yeah 
right? And then take this pliers. This is the second biggest mandrel setting here. I put this wire in between this pliers mandrel and just roll it around. You will have a question mark. Then take your pliers and snip off. Always use the flush cut end. This is the end which cuts flush. That's the end which cuts it in a V. There we go. Just below that. And our ear wire is done. If you want, you can hammer them. But I just want to lift the end and you have your ear wire. You're not done yet. Normally, this is the wire which is parallel or same. But we have to twist this loop to get it perpendicular to our project. So take this loop and hold this um, question mark part in your fingers and just twist it. That's all. Make sure it's nice and even and your ear wire is done. So now open up your ear wire. Okay. First slip on this earring that we have made and then your no no the jump ring. So we need to prep this jump ring and make it ready before we add it. We didn't do that for this. So wiggle wiggle wiggle. Now it's straight. Press press press. Everything is perfect. Open the top. Add your ring. And then close it completely. Right? And now add this jump ring to our ear wire. So we can also add this first and then our earring finding yeah that's what I didn't even add it here so I close the earring finding okay with just this jump ring in and I am going to open this jump ring okay and probably take this ring back okay. take this one and snip it off slip it off inside that big jump ring and now close that jump ring there we go our earring is ready how pretty and cute this is i really like it a lot i don't know i really love this design it was very very close easy easy and pretty and it is nice and you can wear it as like how dressed up you want you can add a chain as i said a couple of chains here in the middle add some dangles you can do all of those we have one more variation for this and i will come up with a variation for the bargain beatbox stuff too so i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos couple of videos a week thanks so much for watching have a good day bye